to say Nayama is right here, but right now at the moment she's doing something. So we would probably do a side with her right now. What do y'all want the sisters to get out of this? Being with the deacons, the captains, and the visiting officers, and when they bring up topics and women play a part in it, especially seeing the, the black woman mindset. Well, well, even though, um, you know, you can learn a lot from just listening to them. Like, even though you have an opinion, there's always a, a time where you can say it. And, you know, if that time passes, it's okay. Maybe it wasn't it for you to say. You know, it's okay if you don't get to voice everything that you want to say. But also that there's their, their family. Like, I like that part about it. Because um, we look at leadership through a screen a lot of the times and on patient saints. You know, it shows. Yeah, you see their real true personalities and what um, Sister Kaye was saying that um, you don't want to overstep. Even though you, because it's a um, proverb that says familiarity breeds contempt. So um, being sisters that's on a show with the deacon and the captains, we always, we always have to keep in mind that those are leadership. You would never disrespect your fathers, you know. So that's what I look at. No matter how close I am to admit me or I can call them or whatever, I never want to disrespect them or get that familiar with them that I feel like I can. And that's what I want sisters to take away from us being on patient saints. There's a very thin line where you can have a good relationship with your leadership, and then you don't want to cross that to be disrespectful. So. Well, that's beautiful, sis. It reminds me of it doesn't matter whether you're familiar with them, you still keep that respect. Yes. Right. So that's a great example, like for sisters to see within their homes. It doesn't matter whether they um, know their Lord, their Lord's, when their Lord is doing a show, it's still that respect is there. When they're home, it's still that respect is there. And that's what y'all have shown the sisters. So I'll praise that's some good stuff. That's it some is. Good stuff. Yeah, the yes. new thing now is my Lord is on. And I'm like, the first, oh, yes. yeah, the they're first, the first couple. Look, the first, first time they was on, my son was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> He's yeah, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with seeing him? Do you sometimes look straight at him or do you try to like look away? No, I look at him. I like him. Hey, y'all hey, look out for that and see where her eyes going, okay? Right. That's so funny. Shalom, y'all. I'm back. Col Columbia, South Carolina. Um, we're here with Sister Nayama. Okay, 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 okay. Nayama. But y'all know her, Sister Thick Alyssa. Right. So we could not do no interview without interviewing her. Okay. Because she brings a lot of flavor to the table. Well, thank you. And the little one liners that you throw out. What makes you the way you are? What makes you function? Oh, crazy. Yeah, oh, crazy. So that's risky with this. Now, does his camera make me look small? Like, how do you do it? Turn it a long way. No, no, leave it like that. Don't listen to her. Yes, listen to her. Not there. Shalom. Yes. Yes. So the cameras don't make y'all nervous anymore. Not, the people make me nervous. Yeah. Not. No, being with the prophets. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Being with the prophets. Because again, you're with the prophets. Yeah. Like that is crazy. So like they're angels right now and everything. So yeah. What That's advice? Not. What advice would you give the sisters concerning how to conduct, conduct yourself when you're around the prophets in that format? That's what I want. Because we're here all the time with them, so we speak. It's really like brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins. Okay. That's how we feel like family because we spend so much time with them, with each other. So it's the same type of protocol. Just that happens to be on patient safety. Okay. Scriptures come out. Okay. That's kind of really what the difference is. So it's like no formatted way to do it. You ain't got no formatted way with your family. Same concept. Same okay. Concept. Okay. But. But the order, but you know, still in the family structure, we still know who daddy is. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going to be deep. That's going to be deep. Right, right, right. Yeah. So each of them, y'all can, can say, okay, that's like an uncle. Yeah. That's like a father. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Do y'all sometimes have those, um, I shouldn't have said that moment. Yes. yes. On camera. I will do it mid-sentence. If, I, if I'm talking and I hear a male, but I just... Right. Face. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Like you're trying to talk and, and they ignore you. You'd be like, okay, we're the same my place right now, so let me just yeah. go. 
It's humbling. Okay, yeah, I have it, to it, it really is. is. <laughs> but one thing I've learned, I've, this has taught me, right? It has, like she yeah. was saying, it's humbling. Again, I've been watching patient sex for five years. I cannot believe it. I'm in awe. Let me say this. I'm in awe. Let me, let me ask you this, not say this. Let me ask you this. Do you have any problem with being called nigga vicious? No! That's the question we were right. I'm so mad at that email. I'm over it now. But um no, because again, I'm getting that together. So when I lose more I'm gonna be nigga vicious eventually. I don't have a problem with nigga vicious. But sis, you gotta tell the sisters this because the sisters be the main one that say things like, oh that's body shaming, body shaming. But remember, it used to be a time when we liked thickalicious. Sis, don't no black folk use body shaming. When I heard that they, I'm like, no black person wrote that. Have you ever heard you body shaming? wrote that. Anita might wrote that. Have you ever heard in any situation ever a black woman say body shaming? I never in or heard that. I've never heard nobody say that. You know what I'm saying? And again, there's some things that's just funny. Like, again, a one-legged stripper, that's hilarious if you see one. Some stuff just funny. Black jokes are funny. Bad jokes are funny. And the, and it, that's kind of like an evil man feel when they're in there, kind of, sort of. Like when they're telling jokes, because like if you're at home, you with your family, you telling jokes, you equal. So look, if you got lupus and you got scaly skin, you might be the lizard today. I don't know, but that's funny. You got to have thick skin you gotta on have, patient side. Yes, Definitely. you have to. Okay, okay. And that's what makes it fun, because again, like the day that they were talking about, but again, I've looked at that show like two or three times. That was the funniest show I thought we had did today, to that Listen, day. Yo, Lord, on that show. Girl, no, bring it out. No, Listen, when I tell you that was so funny, I but died. what was so um, breathtaking is again, I'm looking at the Bible like, dang, that is really in the Bible. Okay, 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 get my life together. That's what I was thinking, and then everybody was laughing. Everybody on the panel was laughing. Everybody back where you guys were sitting today was laughing. It was hilarious. No, no, I wasn't joking. That's why they needed to put that in the Bible so I could see diverse ways she really and a I, that. Girl. Well, then I got two questions before yes. we wrap this up, okay? The first question is going to you, Sister Island. Okay. How is the interaction with you and Captain Barnabas since you've been on this panel? What has it Ooh, done for y'all relationship? Question. Really? We've been don't talk no, I mean, as far as it, it goes, like, yes. like if I get up first thing in the morning, he'd be like, like you going to patient safe? Uh, and that's pretty much the extent of it. Or like this morning, I was the one that was tired. He was like, you ain't going? I'm like, you know, I'm getting up. But that's the extent of us talking about PSR. Do y'all have certain, like, already, like, rules that set in place? Okay, don't say too much. You know, make sure you watch yourself. Do y'all talk about no, yourself like that? No, um, no, not really because by nature, I'm kind of funny. I'm, I'm yeah. awkward funny. Okay. She funny. And um, long story short, the, <laughs> my lawyer said, like, we was talking about getting old. This one was proven. We were talking about getting old, and he was talking about when he loses his teeth. And I was like, well, I'm going to just give you my teeth in a cup when I want you to wash my teeth. And he died laughing. He said, that's what made him want to marry me. Oh, wow. The fact that I told him I'm, when we get old, I'm going to put my teeth in the cup. And he watched. He was like, yo, ass is funny. you going to be my wife. And it wasn't nothing profound. Was, that was the reason why he wanted to marry me. That's funny. So I'm awkwardly funny. Like, I say stuff, and I'm not trying to be funny, but it comes off that way. So, okay. you know, we don't. So y'all already have, have a dynamic, a, a, a chemistry going, even no matter where you at. Yes, but I wouldn't okay. show all of that. Y'all couldn't handle that. <laughs> This is the last question for each of y'all. And I'm gonna start with you, sis. Now, how about the comments? How do y'all deal with the comments? I mean the, the hate comments if it comes. I'm gonna be honest with you, I stopped watching PSR once I got on the show. Really? But why yeah. is it? I just have never been one to want to see myself or hear myself on the camera. Okay. 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 And how about the comments? Do you hear sometimes about don't watch it, she's not going to read it. I don't know the comments. Well, that's a good thing, right? It, it's good for me because then I can just focus on standing in spirit. I don't want to be in my emotions about it. I don't want to keep okay. that, you know, apart from what I've been. I feel like it's it's the most I'm moving, you know? So I don't want to get my emotions in there and get offended about anything. So I just want to come, do the show, and endure. Oh, crazy. 
that. Yeah. That's a good way. That's a really good way to look at it. I hope y'all listeners listening to that. That's a really good advice. Um, Sister Thick Alyssus, um, how do you deal with the comments? I mean, if you, you see any hate comments or something. You have got proposals on there and all kind of crazy right. stuff. Right. Funny. Um, kind of similar. I actually, now I do kind of look at the comments more. Um, what sparked me to look at the comments was when they brought it out about the um, emailer making that crazy comment. So I look at them more, but uh, kind of sort of not really. I, I don't take, again, I don't, you don't get to be 48 years old and be a thick delicious. I can't take what you say seriously. S seriously. Like, again, your thing is the um, nicotine, mine is Nabisco. This is my walk. Oh, God. <laughs> this is my walk. So I'm not, I ain't got, I got other stuff. <laughs> Besides, like the stuff that's going on in your head too. So yeah, I don't, I don't take no type of way. The only thing that bothered me um, was ladies don't get to be um, on platforms prior to that. So the fact that we could possibly go away because of somebody outside of us who don't understand the dynamics of the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it is. They didn't tell me nothing that wasn't in the book. He brought it out. It was in the book, so it needed to be in the book. Cause in my head, I thought I could be a big business. That's why I needed to be in there. I, I, wow. Now I know the definition of rent because it was in there, wow. and I Googled it. Wow. Hey, OMG, wow. that's in the book. So wow. that's what was needed. Wow. So don't take it seriously. I don't, wow. unless it's scripture that's coming out. I know it's nothing but love because the same officer that brought out the Rent Runs Rapid is the same one. I used to smoke cannabis, and I watched him bring it out about cannabis, and I don't smoke cannabis. But, but you know what so. I need you to do? When the part you said, don't take that stuff serious. I need you to look at the camera and tell them. Yeah, tell don't, the sisters yeah. that. Tell the brothers that. Don't take it Maybe serious. Yeah, don't take it serious. You got to say, and my captain's a car voice, but it's in the Bible. If it's in the Bible, they're bringing it out of the Bible. That's not how they personally feel about anything. It's in the Bible. So I didn't feel no type of way when they brought out the scripture about the rent running rapid because it was in the Bible. I didn't bring out, feel no type of way uh, about the diverse weights because it was in the Bible. And I personally needed to see that because in my mind, I was not playing. I can't be a big palace. No, you can't. You out of order. So I needed to get that together. So I didn't take it no type of way. I'll pray this, sis. I hope y'all heard that. That was some good information yeah. for both of these sisters. But last but not definitely least, sis, the comments, if you hear or you see about any negative comments, how do you deal with that? In the beginning, it really um, bothered me, right? And so then I talked to a couple of sisters, and they was like, they don't know you, you know? So they're only going by their opinions. So when I read it now, it's funny. You know, because I'm like, y'all have no clue what is going on, and you watch watching a, what, two-hour show? Even when I read things that they say about, like, thinking, as a matter of fact, today, that's why, I don't know if y'all seen, I kept showing Kevin and Zayi my phone, because folks were saying some crazy stuff, but they crazy. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, the majority of them are not what I used to see. Okay. So, that's, yeah. they're haters, really, and it's just, sad. Yeah. 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 So, the IUIC is getting bigger and the platform is enlarging. We got the IUIC TV, you understand? And we are on the um, internet, and who knows where Patient Saints Radio can go. Y'all can probably just start going to locations. So the hate will get real. Oh, Lord, but y'all ready for it? No. Y'all ready for it? Y'all ready for it? Y'all ready for it? Yeah. But I just want to say, if y'all don't have anything to say, I want to say, just talking to you ladies, I'm very, 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 I'm honored to be able to get y'all missed. And knowing that y'all my sisters, y'all my family, it's like, it's like I'm like a kid in a candy store. So, whatever you're getting from us, we're gleaning from the men who are getting it out the book. Oh, so, great. Say that to the camera. Whatever you guys are getting from us, we're gleaning from the men, the prophets that we're surrounded by, and they're getting it from the Bible. So, it ain't really us. It's most high. And with that, what y'all say? What's the saying? From Patient Sex Radio? Patient Sex Radio. 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 Radio.